This is Matt for Into Boxing. I'd like to be joined by another amateur down here at the One Nation Boxing Club. Charlie, believe it or not, box. <laughs> you were made for this spot with that last name, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Well, my dad must have thought so, innit? When <laughs> now, you're, you're 24 years of age, you're still in the amateur game. Um, seeing you down here, everyone's been doing a bit of sparring. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Getting good rounds in. There's a lot of talent here, it's good coaches. Um, it's a place to be, really, especially if you're in Derby. Yeah, absolutely. I know Leon's been on to me for a while saying, you know what, you should come down. There's a lot of talent in here, a lot of good amateurs. Um, you should come down, see what they're about. And obviously we're going to do this sort of bit of an amateur series to see what it's like from the nuts and bolts of boxing, the grassroots level, and what it's like to be an amateur boxer, how you find it, and are you going to turn pro. So, talk to me, how many amateur fights have you had? I've only had one at the minute, so it's just uh, seeing how far I can take it, see how good I can get. I mean, if I'm going to get good anyway, it's definitely going to be here. Obviously, you've got the good coaches here. Yeah, they, they all know what they're on about, so obviously, especially Cliff, whose gym it is, yeah, he, yeah. he really knows his stuff, he's obviously been around all the top people, always around the top people, got some great pros, there's some really, like the talent here, like you said, it's, it is absolutely brilliant, do you know what I mean, but um, yeah, for me personally, it's just get here, be around all these good people, see, yeah, yeah. see where I can take it, and then hopefully one day, like, try and live the dream. <laughs> so is the dream for you to turn pro though, is that yeah, what you've got in your eventually, head? definitely, eventually, definitely, but it's um, in the, the, the distant future rather than a, the near future. Near future is to have as many amateur fights, get on the amateur yeah. circuit as much as possible. So when did you when did you start boxing? Um, about 18 months ago. Oh, so you're fairly new? Yeah, 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 so I, I was one of them that always loved it as a kid growing up, blah, 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 and then the, the typical, oh, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, I'm going to start, and then yeah. got into it. And then obviously COVID struck when I started to get into it, so it kind of pushed it a bit back, but I managed to keep up with the routines and stuff like that. Well, we see a lot of these fighters. I mean, if you look at Fraser Clark, who's just turned over, he's 30, he's been on the Olympic squad. These guys, a lot of amateurs do turn over late 20s and it doesn't stifle the career at all. And in fact, it helps them. When you look at someone like... Um, Lomachenko had hundreds of amateur fights, yeah. started his professional career late on and he's one of the best fighters still now even to this day. Um, is that sort of a thing that you're conscious of, getting a good few years in, testing yourself, seeing how good you are and then deciding do I make that jump? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the best way to do it is just get as many amateur fights as possible, trying to get that ring experience up, maybe stop uh, hopefully sparring better people, get better fights, yeah. like, get better in the fights and then maybe like um, compete in the nationals, see how far you can get in them, see where you're at. Really, really try and push yourself as an amateur, where um, it's more experience and performance over result. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Whereas yeah. then, get you ready for, say, for me, I'm 24. So, but as I say, in four years' time, when I'm 28, hopefully I'd have built up enough of that. And then, hopefully, it gives you good stead for the pro game. And then it's not, like you said, there's so many examples of people where it's not impossible you don't have to be this teenage superstar to then star boxing and then when you get there we'll see, we'll see if I can build up the experience first and then try and get there. How have you found it so far dedicating yourself because boxing's you see they're all in or not all because let's be honest you can't take shortcuts because in the ring the truth will always will always show so how are you finding dedicating your full time to it as in obviously you'll do stuff out but living the life keeping eating clean how are you finding that side of it i think that's one of the good things about amateurs as well because of the way it runs and you can be called upon to have a fight any minute so you always have to kind of stay on weight live the life eat well forces you to yeah yeah forces you to yeah and i'm one of those people as well in general before i was um going out all the time being that guy down the pool blah 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 getting pissed yeah getting pissed mate getting pissed getting steaming and then you, you I'm, I'm all or nothing and i think boxing for a personality like me it's almost like quite addictive personality yeah, yeah. and it's really really good for people like me because you can really get your teeth into it and it's something that you can proper like have a passion for and there's nothing and like you said there's no there's no point in corners because you get found out so it's either one or the other and for people with addictive personalities it's absolutely brilliant yeah absolutely and it teaches you that discipline as well because you know as well as well you will know if you have, when they have more amateur fights and the harder it gets you'll know yourself whether you've obviously give it your all and stuff like that so talk to me about um inspirations and people who've sort of either got you into it or certain fighters where you've looked at and thought you know what love watching him i really want to give this a go i think i can do it are you first are you orthodox or southpaw orthodox so. i see you straight orthodox so yeah. is there any fight you're watching you like you try and either emulate or take something from i'll ask every one of you this because i want to see if the answers are going to be 
be different. I've had Mike Tyson, the last one I've had Shakur Stevenson, which yeah. is a brilliant one because he's currently uh, yeah. you know, on fire and he's repping for the young guys in as well in boxing. Who, who's the guy? So the person that got me into boxing and the person that he's obviously retired now is Ricky Hatton. So for, oh, me, so for me, my first fight, I can remember it, this is what got me into loving boxing and it was when I was younger, the first fight I can remember staying up with on my dad was, um, what was it called, uh, was it Castillo with a perfect living shot. Yeah. So I, that was the first fight. Emian Arena. Yeah, yeah, so I, that was the first fight I stayed up to watch. Um, was it yeah. Emian? I can't no, I think it was right. in no, it was abroad, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking of Costa Zoo. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the first fight that I stayed up to watch with my dad. That's what got me into it. Got a picture of that, that where he's uh, on one knee in my room. So I see it every morning. So that's mainly the inspiration from him. Like, my first proper boxing fight. Uh, he's a proper British legend as well, as well, into, so, yeah. Have you ever met him? No, never. You should, I'll tell you what you should do, Ricky does a lot of these, um, an evening whips and stuff like that. I've heard him do that best after the talk or anything. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've met him a few times, honestly, he's a, a top dog, and I'm sure, like I said, that's something I'd recommend you do, because obviously you'll get to meet him, you'll get to have a picture with him. I, I would do something like that if you're a big Ricky Atten fan, because yeah, yeah. he's, he's quite entertaining, I'm sure you can imagine. Yeah. Um, have you got a have you got a social media plug where you can tell everyone where to follow you so they can keep an eye on, on you and see how you're, how you're progressing uh, my, uh, my Instagram is charliebox10 uh, that's it really <laughs> you know, everyone's on Insta out there look Charlie appreciate you giving into boxing some of your time uh, we'll get this interview wrapped up and yeah fingers crossed we can follow your journey and see how you see how you get on and if you do turn over in a few years we might be doing this over a professional yeah, maybe, interview hopefully oh yeah hopefully <laughs> alright cheers Charlie thank you Thanks.